Today we're talking about human papillomavirus and specifically the vaccine for it. Despite studies to show it's effective in preventing disease, some parents are reluctant to have their children vaccinated. Melissa Vukovic is a nurse practitioner at the Teen Health Clinic for Children's Hospital of Wisconsin. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Let's talk about what HPV is first. Tell us a little bit about the virus. So HPV is a virus, it's called the human papillomavirus, and there's about um, over 100 different strains of the virus, 13 of which cause cancer in males and females. And um, most adults um, are infected at some point in their life and don't know it, they'll never have symptoms. And it's transmitted through um, intimate contact, oral, vaginal, anal sex, and um, there's no cure for it. Uh, so what does the vaccine then do? In a, and talk about how effective the vaccine has, uh, has proven in terms of preventing disease. The vaccine's uh, highly effective. And matter of fact, um, studies have shown that after receiving just one dose, um, it can be as um, effective as 90%. Mm -hmm. um, the vaccine um, is very effective in terms of if we give it to people, um, the younger they get it, the, mm -hmm. the more effective the vaccine is. So I think that's one of the reasons that, that we've touched on is why some parents perhaps are reluctant. You know, no parent says, or some parents do, but very few parents say, don't give my kid the measles vaccine, don't go through the regular course when you're in infancy. But when we're talking about a disease that's often transmitted through sexual contact, when you talk about vaccinating children as young as, what is it, 11, 12? 11 is that what you 12, said? Correct. 11 and 12. Mm -hmm. Parents say, well, wait a minute, my, my 11 or 12 year old isn't sexually active. Uh, is, is that one of the things that you struggle with as you try to educate people? We do, we do, but we have to remember that not all sexual contact is consensual. So we wanna make sure that we're protecting um, children before they're ever exposed. And the other thing to think about is one of teens' most favorite thing to do is um, share straws and, and drink. And so um, even activities like that can be exposing and sharing that virus. You also mentioned that the vaccine, and, and, and you recommend several courses, is two or three shots? Um, that it's more effective if you start at that early age as well? Correct, correct. Um, and so um, if we don't start the vaccine, we oftentimes at our children's hospital clinics, we recommend the vaccine between the ages of 11 to 12. Um, if parents uh, don't start the vaccine until after their 15th birthday, they'll re be required to, to use um, three doses of the vaccine. I know we're talking about kids here, but how about for young adults or even adults then? Is it too late for them to get the vaccine or what do you recommend uh, for that uh, once you're beyond your teenage years? Um, we recommend that um, people be vaccinated up to the age of 26. Um, if they've been exposed to the virus, we would never know which um, virus they may or may not have been exposed to. So um, we would recommend any opportunity for them to um, get the vaccine and be hopefully protected against um, any or all strains of the virus possible. Well, thanks for coming in and sharing some of that information. And again, for more information on HPV and the vaccine as well, a lot of resources up online at the children's website, and we've set up a link for you at tmj4.com. Live look out.